Hey, how you doing, my friends out there in YouTube world? Greetings and salutations. All right. Today's video is basically for everybody, of course. But uh, it's for, you know, mainly some newer subscribers out there. I want to just, uh, I want to show you some of my knife collection here. Today's a special day, my wife said. She said, uh, didn't you say that you wanted to clean your knives? I said, well, yeah, I cleaned a couple of them. She goes, well, I'm giving you the whole day to clean them. And then you're going to put them away and you're going to drive them to a storage unit. So I got to say goodbye to uh, these uh, crates that have been... Uh, really irritating <laughs> my wife so yeah she found a spot so they're all going away I'm gonna keep a couple but um I just like knowing that they're so close by but as of today they're not going to be just a few of them are so I just wanted to um show you a little bit of what I have and uh, you know also address address some things here you know especially to some newer subscribers when I walk around and show you these knives, if any of them catch your eye, let me know. If you want me to do a review on, before I get it over to the storage unit, let me know, and I will. If there's something that you are hoping to see and don't, let me know what it is, because chances are I do have it, and it's not out here, or uh, I'll just get it, because that's just how I roll. But, um just uh you know i'm going to kind of go through it you know a little quick a little slow so some have a little story some don't i don't want to bore you to death keep you out here for an hour but um hey if anything catches your eye let me know and if there's something that you don't see again let me know and i'll try to get it and do a review listen i'm not a professional i'm not a professional knife reviewer i'm just a guy who's been collecting knives since you know Oh, I can't even remember. Since childhood, I always had like one or two, sold them, got them back again, bought another couple, sold them. It wasn't until like the last 10 years or so that I really got deep into it. So, uh, some I've had, some I sold, some I traded, some I, you know, just cherish and would never part with, ever, no matter what. But, um, again, you see anything let me know uh, basically what you see is all going to my son one day hopefully that's really far from now far off into the future he doesn't really have a big passion for this stuff but if they come from Seabop they will you know so uh, he could do whatever he wants with them so uh, you know do I do I even know what I'm saying right now sure I do anyway stay with me Yes, yeah, so basically these are going to my son and he can do whatever he wants with them. Another thing I want to address is the name Bowie. Did I say Bowie or Bowie? Bowie. God, that irks some of you people. It really does. Listen, I say it both ways. I know I'm not, I'm not prejudiced. I know a lot of people say Bowie and I know a lot of people say Bowie. And, uh, hey, that's just the way it is. I'm an equal opportunist, and I give everybody a fair shake. <laughs> but that really does, that really does grab some people, man. Chill out, man. Don't let it get to you. You know, I don't say David Bowie. I say David Bowie. It's his fault. Also, for you new subscribers, I do occasionally do, you know, giveaways and my record's pretty successful. And I really like it when it's a, it's a subscriber who wins and they shoot a video. So hopefully if you guys, you know, ever enter one of my contests, I'm hoping that you shoot a video because that just tells people that I'm a man of my word. You can check my record, you know, uh, my July 4th giveaway, my Labor Day giveaway, 
I still have uh, three bonus gifts that still have yet to go out, but I spoke to each and every one of them, and they know the week of the first it's coming out to you. So uh, keep that in mind if you guys ever enter one of my contests. Try to make a video just, you know, showing people what you received and, you know, all that good stuff. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Because I don't want to carry this people piece of paper around with me here yeah so these are all going to a storage unit and uh, so they're not gonna be in the house much longer so hey let's just take a walk let me show you a few things that I have all right what a beautiful Saturday let's start off with this little table here just a few just a few. So many of these are just so sentimental. Like my bucks. You know, I always tell you that my EDC all the time is my buck 110. Even though that is strapped to my hip, I'm not... That's only when I leave the house. Usually what's in my pocket is the buck 55. This little guy. This little bugger is one of my favorite knives to have it fits perfect in the pocket love it the buck 55 and you see the size of it in comparison with the 110 this is basically my everyday box opener ladies and gentlemen some of these I've done reviews on some of them I haven't you know there's the old Daniel Boone Never part with these. This one here was a gift. This amazing little bone handle. SZCO, I believe. Yes. Love it. Love bone and stag handle knives. There's my, uh, my Revenant from the movie The Revenant. I got this from the people that actually made the knives for the movie. For all you Revenant fans. Oh, there's my Bowie from the Kukri House. Probably my top two or three knives, favorite knives of all time in my collection. Oh, and of course, the American veteran right there. Look at that beautiful knife by Timberwolf. Oh, yeah, I just did a re Well, I didn't do a review. It was just kind of like uh, in a video I did last night. The Dutch Schaefer Predator. That's a homemade sheath, by the way. It was a nylon sheath, and I wrapped it in a... Uh, and some camouflage and leather stitched it. Not too shabby, huh? And there's my beautiful, beautiful hibbon. Got a couple of hibbons. There's an old Pakistan Bowie. There's my Dundee right there. The Outback. There's my USN. K-Bar. My SOG 2.0. Special custom Donnie B all day chopper. Treasure it always, my friend. He actually got me into this uh, doing knife reviews. Although he is really amazing at doing knife reviews. Just, in, you know, incredible. Donnie B all day. This is my favorite bushcraft right here. All purpose knife, actually. Look at the spine on this, this Kubi. I love it. Love it. It's a beautiful, heavy-duty knife. 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 There's my Morehouse. My second next to the Kubi. Perkin. Perkin. Gotta love it. I did a review video on this a while back. Beautiful Perkin knife. There's another one that I have yet to do a review on. Let's see what else. This really really amazing buck knife with this like s35 and steel insane my trusty old 124 some rough riders see this little guy right here i love this little rough rider right here this thing is so sharp i love it love it love it i think i paid like eight bucks for it and this little guy paid like five bucks for it from japan 
It looked a lot bigger on the picture, but I was still very happy when I received it. Such a solid, full tang little knife. Five bucks. Best five bucks I ever spent. Let's see. What else do we got here? These are just some, you know, some Timberwolves. You got the tactical right there. You got the traditional. There's a Hibben. There's, oh, there's my Winchester right there. That's got the white lettering. The ones I had before had darker, so I don't know if this thing was special or what. It's the only, only one I see them with the white lettering, so I don't know. It's got to mean something. A couple more Timberwolves right there. That, I have no idea what it is. I think it's a Frost Cutlery. Yeah, that's my Hibben Combat Fighter. Again, oh, there's my, uh, that $20 knife I got off of eBay. That was one of the best $20 I ever spent. Next to that is a Rough Rider. Over here, this was the first knife I ever got off of BUDK, the Swamp Master. Still holding up. Still holding up. Let me see, another, another, uh, what do you call it? Timber Rattler, I believe, yeah. This was like 10 bucks I got, this best defense. This is an awesome knife. The best, the best defense. My Boker Magnum. I just got this for novelty purposes. I think it's called the, the Grizz, the Big Grizz. Not so sure. Some of these I didn't do a review on yet. This needs to be clean, obviously. My my Bushcraft Bushmaster. That's actually a decent, decent blade right there. And the old hickories right there. I have this old hickory in a uh, K-bar sheath. Fits perfect. All right, what else we got over here? Oh yeah, my machete tree. Let me see, you got your Gerber. I don't know what that is. Got it on sale somewhere. There's the sheaths. There's my Tramontinas hanging from the tree. <laughs> and my awesome, awesome East Wing hatchet. Gotta love it. And my, uh, this, this machete here came from Thailand. Came from Thailand. And uh, we'll come back to that one later. And let's see, back here, I just wanted to uh, show you guys my swords real quick. I got like three or four, three samurais, one tactical. I think I did a review on the swords not too long ago. If not, we'll do another one. I vaguely remember, so I guess it wasn't really that impressive. But anyway. There's some really nice swords, by the way. There's my Kill Bill right in the middle. My Beatrix, my Beatrix Kiddo. Let's see, what else we got here? Yeah, some of these I did reviews on, some I didn't. Yeah, there's my uh, Kukuri House, Kukuri Knife. There's a couple Timberwolves. Check out this though, I never did a review on this. This is the Timberwolf uh, Kukri. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Just did a review on that guy. There's my little pocket knives there. Some people ask me, do I even have pocket knives? Sure I do. I know I'm obsessed with the Bowie, the Bowie style. Yeah, there's my Timberwolf and Browning. I'm gonna do a review on this bad boy next. This guy right here. I call this the Trail Master. Can't wait to take that out. I just did a review on this Muella. You see, I got that strap for my boots. And I just found my other Muella. Mula, however you guys want to pronounce it. Another one on my list. 
And just some, uh, you know, oh yeah, there's the hat trick of Granway knives. The uh, Jungle Bowie, there's a Timber Rat. There's my Gerber. There's my uh, Clarence in Alabama. Did you guys see that vid? Oh yeah, and the, and the uh, my Shrade. Leroy. The hat trick. Even though this neck knife here is a cold steel. It just, that's my neck knife. That's my three pack right there. And you guys all saw my setup. If not, I did a review on this. See how I got that lashed together? It's perfect for this. All right. Some neck knives, you know, some boot knives, some ankle knives, a couple sod trident, tridents. This was my first one. This guy right here. Go back a long way. I like these, uh, the Kalishnikov Bokers. Check out this, this Bowie. How cool is that? Even this one here. Yep, the Gerber. All right, what else we got over here? Oh yeah, a couple of Puko knives from Martini. And there's my uh, my Mora, that orange guy right there. A couple of Condors. Some cold steel action. There's my uh, Sand Knight Trailmaster, the Marauder, the SRK Peacemaker, the Wild West, the True Flight, everybody's favorite, the uh, the Canadian Belt Knife, the Finhawk, and there's my custom cold steel Tomahawk. Yeah, I, I did all that work myself, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty talented, aren't I? This was a nice little project. I ain't going nowhere. All right. Over here, we got our more budgets by Elk Ridge. Yes, the Elk Ridge. I love that. I love that Elk Ridge Bowie right there. Gooey. <laughs> oh god here's some more elk ridge i think uh this price was right i don't think you can find any of these buoys anywhere i tried to give its gifts and i had no luck and there's my uh, my bush my Elk Ridge Bushcrafters, even though they look alike, two different steels. One's the Evolution, and one is just the Elk Ridge Bushcraft. And there's my Elk Ridge uh, fillet knife. All right, what else we got over here? Got anything? We already covered that area, right? Oh, yeah. Forgot about these guys. Yep. The Ontario SP5 and SP10. There's the old Hudson Bay. See that orange handle? That's my Macerin. Came from Italy. Another uh, Timber Rat right there. And just a Pakistan uh, Bowie knife and a primitive Bowie knife. There's a Rough Rider Dundee. And another like Dundee copy right next to it. I forget the name of that. Hmm. Why do I forget the name of that? And here's like three of my favorites right there. The Morehouse. Look at those beautiful knives. I did somewhat of a review on these. The Beauty. This is art, guys. I love this Rough Rider. They call it the Highlander right here. 
That's also one of my favorite knives. It's a budget knife too, less than 30 bucks. You have a lot of fun with that guy right there. And then my Alimo. Alamo, sorry guys. I didn't mean to call it Ali Mo. <laughs> All right, what else? I think that might be it, guys. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Nah, wait. Got something over here. Some uh, bone and stag handles. Let's go this way. There's my... There's my Seraphim Falls. One of my favorites. My eye field. Another classic knife. Well... Classic in my my eyes. I compare it to the uh, the head and rooster right next to it. Some uh, timber wrap. Let's see what else is there. I love this knife. The uh, the white tail. Look at that work of our on that stag handle, that guard. Look at this. Some high quality knives right here, ladies and gentlemen. Still one of my favorite knives right here. This hen and rooster, that, that feather knife. Awesome for cutting meat, awesome for cutting meat. I love how uh, Cisco made this. I love it. It's made in Pakistan. The Cisco Bowie knife. I think that's all it's called. Well done. Another timber rat. Another white tail. Another white tail. Rough rider. Let's see. What is this? That's that Delrin type handle. And then we have my all time favorite custom. This guy right here, my Inglorious Bastards. Little history lesson for the movie. And this is funny, because I had this knife before I saw the movie. This Smith & Wesson. I heard for the movie, they took this Smith & Wesson got rid of any kind of writing on, on the blade and they stuck a, a another guard and a stag handle on the end of it and that's how they came up with Aldo Rain's knife. And then Timber Rattler made this. This one's called the Bastard. Got the star on the end right there. Yeah, this, this knife means a lot to me right here. Again, would never part with. All right, I got some cleaning to do, ladies and gentlemen. Some serious putting away. And I think that's it for now. Oh, wait. I can't just walk away without showing these one last time. My Rambo Expendables collection. There you go, guys. You can screenshot that if you want. There he is. There's the Espada by Cold Steel. That is a dangerous, dangerous knife, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these beautiful Hibben knives right here. Another Hibben right there. The Rambo 4, the Rambo 3. The boot knife, Rambo 2, Rambo 1. One last look. Gonna miss you guys. All right. We're gonna sign off for now. But before I do it, you know I have to end it with a splash, right? Hope you guys like this uh, little video here. Sorry it was so long. Just felt like taking you guys for a walk. 
Here's the Thailand machete. All right. There we go. Have fun, everybody. Subscribers, let's go. Subscribe. Got some giveaways coming up. But remember, I'm not a pro, just a guy having fun. All right? Criticize, criticize, criticize. <laughs> All right, now, seriously, thanks for watching, everybody. And, uh, God bless. Be careful. Stay safe, as always. All right. See you next week.